In V-Ray Next, you can now render volumetric grids on GPU to create effects like smoke and fog while using the enhanced speed benefits of GPU rendering. To start, let's open up the V-Ray settings and ensure that CUDA is our selected production engine so we're rendering on GPU. Next, let's start the IPR so we can take a look at our scene here. All right, I'd like to add some smoke to come out of the top of this tugboat's funnel so I'm going to draw a render region here around the top of the funnel first. To create the smoke effect, let's create a V-Ray Volume Grid node by clicking on this fire icon here. Now let's reposition the volume grid at the base of the ship's chimney. Then, in the V-Ray Volume Grid settings, let's load in a Phoenix FD file, which contains a simulated cloud. Once more, let's adjust its position here, and then let's scale it up a bit. You can also increase the detail reduction in the viewport if you want, so that the viewport preview isn't quite so detailed and intensive. Next, let's click on the Enable GPU Preview. This will create a render-like preview in the viewport itself, which is calculated on the GPU. Finally, in the Rendering dropdown under the Smoke Opacity section, we can drag the simple Smoke Opacity slider to the right so that the cloud will start to show in the IPR preview. I'm also going to disable the Scale Opacity by Scene Units checkbox so that the scene units do not affect the smoke's opacity, which can be useful when importing volumetric simulated in other applications. Now, we can just use the simple Smoke Opacity slider to further tweak the smoke to our satisfaction. Taking a good look at our smoke cloud now, you can see that it is very dark. Let's brighten it up a bit by adding some bluish tint to it in the smoke color rollout using the constant color parameter. Okay, I'm liking how that looks. Now that you've seen how to add a volume grid and tweak its settings, let's hide this grid and then unhide some volume grid cloud simulations I created in advance using these same simple steps. I'll also turn off the render region now and let this render so you can see the final result. As you've now seen, you can use the power of GPU to speed up your LookDev workflow while working with volume grids. With V-Ray Next, it's easier than ever to tweak your smoke effects and achieve stunning looking results, all while harnessing the speed advantages of GPU rendering.